What's up, guys? So, uh, I've come across a really interesting thing about Goodyear uh, and the U.S. military and parabolic concentrators. So, let's just dive into this real quick here. Essentially, these are from historic images. Now, the historic image uh, website gives you actual source photos that come from newspapers that publish things in their newspapers. Now this one's from 1964 and this one is also from 1964. Now what's really interesting is that I got really lucky and I just happened to be, I don't know if I believe in coincidences, but uh, these I found in an estate sale on eBay just by typing in parabolic concentrator. So, uh, if you look at, uh, at these, we also see that there is uh, Akron, Ohio, Goodyear Aircraft Corporation Photographic Department, 10-foot uh, model, uh, but there's really no information about it. Now, so being as the, there's no information, I can only assume that this photo is some sort of an autoclave or some sort of fabrication process that they were doing to get to get this parabolic mirror. Now these ones that I got from the private auction or from the estate sale is presumably the 10 foot mirror. Now it says here solar concentrator so with a parabolic that has an acute angle like this you're obviously going to be going out for some distance and focusing in on a really fine point. And what's interesting to me is that, well, for one, this, this photo that I got from the estate sale is kind of rough around the edges here. And then this part here is actually the mirror or the, uh, the actual photographic image. So it's almost like they laid this over on top of something so I'm not really sure what that's about if anybody knows anything about old photos I'd be more than happy to hear about it but my suspicion is is that these actually because they were dealing with the government had something to do that may have been classified now Fast forward to these pictures that I got from eBay. It just doesn't make any sense to me. And I've looked all over the internet. I can't find anything about it. Now, this is obviously a much larger concentrator. And it says that it's actually, in, uh, you know, screenshot this. But it says that they're working in Denver for Goodyear Aerospace and Sunstrand with a dynamic dynamic energy conversion program. So that's not really the part. 45 foot diameter solar concentrator. Incredible. It must be an amazing amount of power that can be generated in such a small area. Now this is showing a dish that was melted presumably by this dish here so what I think may have been happening is that they took this dish which was, was maybe possibly somehow related to this dish trying to put that dish up there and then focus the beam down back through that hole uh, for some sort of energy production I could be totally wrong but then again there's like nothing online about this so that's what makes this whole thing kind of crazy. Um, and so the back of this basically says that it was melted within seconds. And again, it was in Denver and it was used for um, the, mil the Air Force, the military. So if anyone knows anything about this, uh, but I just, I really thought it was cool that I had absolutely no idea that Goodyear was doing uh, parabolic concentration in the 60s. So uh, I hope you enjoy this, but really the 
primary focus of this video is for you guys to be able to really maybe help shed some light on this if anybody knows anything. Uh, am I holding declassified documents here? It's possible because it just seemed like it wasn't really relevant. But anyways, thanks for watching.